All right, friends, here we go with our next lesson. I found something that you guys might find interesting. Here's a mariachi take on some video game themes. <laughs> friends i thought you'd dig that let's uh we're gonna look a little beyond mariachi now so we're gonna touch upon it a little bit whoops i don't want that i want to make it bigger each place in the world has its own music just as each culture claims its own history traditions languages and celebrations Today we're going to learn about the music of the Northeast and East regions of Mexico through two composers. One of those composers, Julio Morales, will be our guide. Hola, Julio. Hola, Alison. Julio, you were born in the city of Tampico in the Mexican state of Tamaulipas on the Gulf of Mexico. What is the music of Tampico and that region like? Like the music and the people all over Mexico, the music of Tamaulipas mixes native, Spanish, and sometimes other cultures. Its music and dances blend European polka with Mexican folk dances called the Huapango or Son Huasteco. The region has three main instruments, the jarana, violin, and huapanguera. The violin sets us apart. In Tamaulipas, music reflects tradition. We celebrate a lot. Even when someone dies, to show our gratitude for life, we remember him or her with a fandango or party. That joyful feeling is felt in all the region's music, too. Julio, could you play us a bit of music from Tampico? Sure, I'll play it on the jarana. Morenita del pencil, de los 
jardines de Amapa, yo te llevaré a Jalapa, en bello ferrocarril, con sus dormientes de plata y sus rieles de marfil. That was great. Now, what is your own music like, Julio, and how does it relate to the area where you grew up? I find inspiration all over Mexico, but most of all in my home state and the state where I live now, Veracruz. I like composers who combine Mexican folk songs and rhythms into classical music. I especially like jazz and pair it with music for choir or sometimes traditional folk music. How is the music of Tamaulipas alike or different from the music of Veracruz, the state just to the south where you live now? Veracruz is in the East region, in the Gulf of Mexico. It's a state well known for its music. For centuries, all imports and immigrants to Mexico came through Veracruz. So its music reflects many cultures, not just native, but also Cuban, Caribbean, African, and Spanish. Tamaulipas and Veracruz share the same time signature for many of its songs and dances. In both states, there are many birds, and boys and men learn to sing in the falsetto range, very high, to imitate the bird songs. There are also tropical forests. Strumming is thought of as the sound of the woods. One difference is that in Veracruz, there are many instruments, but in Tamaulipas, just three main ones, used in many different ways. Who's a composer from Veracruz that you like? There are many wonderful composers in Veracruz. Perhaps the most famous is Agustin Lara. But I would like to introduce you to another Mexican composer who wasn't born in Veracruz, but chose to celebrate its music. His name is Arturo Márquez. In Veracruz, a dance from Cuba called the Danzón is very popular. It is based on the Habanera. Márquez has composed a series of danzones. Can you play some examples of some of them? Sure. Oh, that was great. Hey, before you go, are there any other Mexican instruments besides the jarana that you want to tell us about? Sure. There is the quijada, the marimba chapaneca, and the arpa jarocha. Thanks so much, Julio. It's been wonderful to get to know more about Mexican music and to meet you. Thank you, Alison. I hope anyone who sees this will keep exploring Mexican music and be inspired to compose. Adios! <laughs> All right. That was a good uh, walk through from some stuff we didn't check out with uh, our exploration with mariachi music. One thing that was cool, the Danzon came back. And that's just continuing to show other styles and cultures coming together to make new ways of expression. Just like we saw with metal music and mariachi music. Alright friends, I'll catch you on the next one.